Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at something really quite special, and that is because this is a proof of concept video. Now I don't usually do this kind of thing, but this build was so obscure, I thought it definitely deserved one. Now for starters, it uses cauldrons, which... They get quite a lot of stick from the community. I can't understand why. I guess it's because they're impractical, they run out after three uses, and you might as well just use a bucket of water. But I've got a lot of love for them. The only problem that I have is the whole three use thing. So I thought I would get to work on a build that increases the amount of storage space the cauldron has, so that thing will be full to the brim for a long time coming. So let's take a closer look at it. Instead of banging on for ages about how this works and trying to explain it all, I might as well just show you it in action because you know what they say, pictures are worth a thousand words and this is a moving picture, like 60 frames a second, so you're getting 60,000 words a second. I'm going to stop talking now, let's just throw the water buckets in. So you can see, one, two, three, our cauldron is out and then it gets switched out for a fresh cauldron. So we can go through again and, ah, oh, there we go, switched out. This is a lot of fun to use, I've got to tell you. Now this build has got space for 10 cauldrons, 10 different cauldrons. That means that you can fill up that water bottle of yours 30 times. Now that's quite impressive. Not quite infinity, but let's be honest, it's getting pretty close. So now that we've got through all that, I guess there's only one thing left to do, and that is to take a look at the redstone behind it. So let's go. And here it is. This is the infamous cauldron swapper. And I'm sure there are a lot of surprise faces out there because this is actually quite a large and complicated mechanism and I'm going to do my best to explain how it all works. So the first thing that you need to know, this is the very basics, is that comparators can take an output from filled cauldrons. So you can see this comparator here it is taking an output from that cauldron. Now when we remove all of the water from this, the comparator will turn off, it will retract this double piston extender which will put it the cauldron in line with all the others and then this piston piston tape here will cycle round. Now what this does is just pushes the blocks round in a circle endlessly, it won't stop doing it. So that means that a filled cauldron will move in front of the double piston extender and then it will extend once again. Now I know I probably didn't do the best job at explaining that so I might as well show you it in action. So you just take all of the water from here and you will see it will retract, cycle round and then be pushed back outwards like that. Now I have some bad news for you all, unfortunately I am not going to be doing a tutorial on this specific build because it's quite large and it is just incredibly pointless. No one in their right mind would build this, I mean you still have to refill all of the cauldrons manually, so in essence you have just got more cauldrons to refill and more cauldrons to run out, which isn't the best thing. However, if you do disagree with me, and you do want to check it out for yourself, then there is a world download in the description below. And if I'm very wrong, and you all actually really want to build these in your survival world, then please head down to the comment section and shout your lungs at me. But unfortunately, that is all I've got time for for today, folks. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.